Nets uh, opening statement on, on tonight? I mean, I, th I thought that was a heck of a win. I really did. I think uh, um, Troy went in. Uh, to Arkansas, um, had them down on the uh, you know on the ropes uh, late game. They go up. Um, I thought they were very uh, they're a very well coached team. Uh, they're very dynamic. Uh, they have a lot of uh, firepower from a different bunch of different areas, and they're relentless on the on the backboard, um, which they got us on that a little bit today. I thought after the first basket, I think we went on a 9-0 run to start the game. And then never really looked, never relinquished the lead. I thought it was a heck of a college basketball game, obviously. Having success in the win after it, I thought it was a little better than it could have been the other way. Um, but from uh, it was like a chess mas match at times. You know, we had to make some adjustments in our press attack. We had to make some adjustments, even just defensively throughout the game. And I thought these guys, the whole team, really responded accordingly. And that's um, ultimately uh, a heck of an environment to be part of a game that that you got two teams that. Um, not one team could beat the other team. It's like these are these are the type of games that I want our team to be part of. All right, they're coming in, and now this is going to be a game. All right, and moving forward, and I, I continue to look at it that way. So I'm I'm excited about how we responded um, uh, after a couple uh, wins to to get another one. Uh, yeah, I was fortunate enough to watch practice, you know, leading up to this game today, and you know, passing seemed to be a big thing, you know, something to work on, you know, turnover. And you're playing against Detroit team that's tenth in the country and causing turnovers. Kind of just talk about the passing today and the execution. I thought when we um, yeah, it was it was a focus focal point at times, uh, um, directed maybe at these two guys next to me at times in, in a particular way. Um, but the reality of it is, what they did was in the first half. I thought we had three or four back doors. We had three or four times on top of those where we went left to right, right to left, and that ball was moving and popping. The guys were seeing seeing things that like you couldn't even see. Like they were being the basketball players out there that I thought was huge, and they really bought into it. How many assists did we end up having? So we had 15 assists, okay? So that's, that's big um, uh, for our team. Uh, a little too many turnovers. We had five at halftime, came out right away with a couple turnovers. Um, but a team like that, that, that is, I think they're typically, when they win games, they're averaging about 17 turnovers forced. Um, so I think our guys move the ball well. You see that with 13, 21, 17, 14 points, six points um, uh, across the board. Before we get to that, you just talk about how, what a backcourt. Well, I think tonight, like th these guys, you know, our team has been together for about a month, all right, the way I look at it. Um, not that I'm, I'm discrediting the summer or anything like that, but, um, you know, Ray has been full, full, full go contact or whatever for about a month, if you really think about it. And um, you, you, you put somebody like Ray into the mix. Uh, the team has to adjust, all right, and, and, and they have really, and then Ray has to adjust as well, because it's not him against anybody, it's just simply he wasn't out there. So now they're learning really how to play with one another collectively as a team, and obviously the backcourt's very good, but the reason that they're so good um, at times is because the Jalen Hodges, the Desmond Polks every single day, where they're pressuring, they're handling it, uh, you know, we split them at times and they go at each other. It's, their success is based on the guys that aren't sitting right here. It's, it's on them, no doubt about that, along with the other guys on, on, the, on the team every single day. We're going against very good competition every single day against each other. Ray, uh, 21 points tonight. Can I just talk about um, today's game, obviously? You know, your finishing was great time. Your ability to, you know, a couple of layup attempts were missed. You were able to get it back and draw a foul finish. Can I just talk about, you know, rebounding and scoring today? Uh, yeah, one of the things uh, we all talked about was me being loose and going out there and playing the right way. And from that standpoint, it's not just all about points, but it's about playing hard and just being myself out there. And today I feel like I did that. Um, I just woke up with a good feeling. And, uh, it was a good day, and we got the win. Yeah, obviously, you know, Troy was pressing most of the game today. Talk about what it's like to have a guy like Polo to be there, you two, you know, handling the ball, getting up the court. I mean, that was I mean, obviously tough. Just getting the ball past half court, half points. Yeah, uh, but yeah, they do pressure the whole game. But like you said, having him in the backcourt with me, we got two guards that could go. Uh, sometimes through two people, uh, put in between them and just take off. And that's the biggest thing. We want to play fast and play within ourselves, get our bigs involved. Yeah, it's a lot of things. You got the twins. They helped a lot on the press today too. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest thing. Polo, well, uh, just uh, I mean, a lot of winning plays tonight. I mean, you're a winner. Obviously, you're a great lose a game. But just talk about you know, 
some of those offensive rebounds coming down the stretch there in the second half were, were huge. Uh, I just really just be in the moments, like, try to do what I have to do for the team, like, whatever it is, like, get on the ground or get a loose ball or even get a rebound. Like, it ain't about just scoring. Whatever I can do to get us to win, I'm just going to do it. And uh, how do you, uh, you know, six straight wins and then, you know, got a Bradley, Missouri Valley opponent coming into town on Tuesday. How do you, you know, build up? I mean, most confidence there's been all year now. Mm -hmm. this one today. How do you move on to, you know, a tough Bradley team coming in? Well, these guys have been pretty confident since like the day they got on campus back in in June or May, but like in a good way. I, I joke about that, but no, you 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 know you're you, we have expectations for ourselves, so we want to live up to our own standards, our own expectations. You have Bradley coming in, who's who's very well coached, very physical, very good defensive team. Um, so we know that it's our next game, and I'm not saying coach talk like like. Um, no one game at a time, but but what we have really done a good job of these last few weeks, really since the Fort Wayne game, I, I, even from a coaching staff, we talk about what our team needs to do every single day. Obviously, we're going to prepare for the other team, but we always have to start at home first, and uh, we're going to go right back to work tomorrow, um, uh, talking about what we need to do. We'll have a game plan in place, and then let's toss it up in a red out. We want as many fans as possible coming out here. It like we're this community deserves. Uh, these guys, uh, it's an unbelievable community to be. It's a great school. It's a great university. And I think they just keep on merging and meshing. You see more people in the crowd. You see more people, you know, around the community. I have four kids, so I'm out every day going to a dance class of, of something. And uh, it's just nice to have someone, you know, invested in know because we have sports fans here. Uh, and we're going to keep on working hard to make them proud because they deserve it. This place is so special. Got some of the money. Go, go get those lights. All right, I will. Thanks, man.